I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you so much for stopping by. I just did a different kind of color for me. Um, idea, a geode, blue and gold geode that I'd seen. And uh, I had mentioned that I was going to try to do a green one, and I am. And it is Sunday night. Tomorrow's April Fool's Day, so I'm thinking of all the funny things I can do to people. Just kidding. But um, I'm going to try not to sneeze. It was like 70-something degrees in California today. And, of course, all my allergies are saying, hey, guess what kind of spring we're going to have. So I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Anyway, I have a 10 by 10 canvas, which um, has already been taped and push pinned, ready to go. Uh, so for 10 by 10, you need about three ounces of paint and then like another two for the sides, two to three for the sides. So I'm going to eyeball it six or seven ounces in this cup, which I have sprayed with the WD-40 silicone spray. So um, the first three colors will be... The same from the blue one. Mm, better start my timer. And then the other ones, of course, are now grains. So I'm going to start with a little bit of black. I'm going to just do a little bit. I The last one, really kind of at the end, or I need to be more careful with my rings at the end. This is, again, a, a chocolate brown metallic, which I don't think I used enough of last time. So I'm just going to go a little bit more. This is the Art Minds Frosted Bubbly. As I mentioned before, I really like the Mink Pearl, which I used in some of my cupcake pours and something else. But I couldn't find it, and so this Frosted Bubbly was the closest I could find of it. So I'm going to use some of that. And then this is a Lucas's. It's a Chrome Green Light. In my blue one, I used a sapphire metallic. I don't really think that was bright enough, or the other blues that I used were too dark. <laughs> it might have been too much, because I know that green shows up very brightly, but I'm trying to fill my cup and only go one round. So this is a mix of like a permanent green light and a sap green. But kind of looks like a Kelly green so it's pretty my green greens Let's see how that works and then the last color is also another mix of like a viridian <laughs> viridian oh no wait yeah viridian and metallic leaf green Kind of reminds me of like a phthalo blue green, green blue. But let's see how that works too. Okay, I think that's good with paint and my setup practice video. I sneeze, so I'm really hoping I don't sneeze. <sighs> All right. Is that there? And again, like the, the blue one I did, I'm going to start with um, kind of the outer ring and just kind of go in. It's not a tree ring per se because I do want the design that the chocolate and the mink are going to be and the black are going to give at the end. But um, definitely wanted. Wish I would have gotten tighter, so I'm going to try it tighter with this one. So let's go. And the reason I'm starting kind of in the outer is that sometimes those nice colors, when you start in the beginning and then do it out, those colors get tipped off, tilted off, and I want them to stay in my pour. So the chrome green light actually isn't taking over as much as, and this is where I'm going to start to go slower, as much as I thought it would. But as soon as that 
chocolate. There we go. The mink pearl and black start to show up and go into the inner rings. Now I want to go smaller. I'm not doing a very good job. There we go. Because the black really does. Well, I used a lot less in this one. But the black can really, once you stretch it out, can really uh, stretch out a lot of black. Try to give it a little bit out in the inner outer layer. Even though it's, like I said, sometimes that dark green is going to get tilted off. And I wasn't crazy crazy. The black was nice, but... Um, See, the spray helps you. I reuse my cups over and over, so it helps get the most of the paint out of your cup. So I'm hoping I can keep some of this darker one. I know it's underneath, so when I stretch it, hopefully it'll come back up. So I'm just going to pop a few air bubbles before I tilt. The black was a real nice contrast in the blue, and this one I have actually um, a much lighter green than the blue was, so it's going to be definitely a different look. And I might have made these rings a little bit too strong. See how the black stretches out and it's actually very much thicker than what it looks like when it first comes out. But I actually like it now in the with the green. Oops, I've already gone over. I'm missing my black. I shouldn't have gone to the outer layer. And that chrome green light is taking over. Um, all right. So I think I'm going to just kind of tilt a lot of this off. And then do another cup with the dark green and um, the black and the brown again. wasn't quite sure how man that chocolate brown's real pretty though in the swirly swirls I don't know if you can see that or not and kind of the flower petal looking parts of the swirl but the dark green is popping up but I would like a little bit more presence of it so I'm going to tilt a lot of this off, which I will make skins because it's green. And I'm going to go up on top again. Although I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Oops. Slipping in a sliding. Maybe I'll play with this only because the dark green is the Viridian mix is coming up. But kind of stretch this side out a little bit. Hmm. 
And I like the little cells that are coming up in it. But for composition wise, I think I need to take that line over. Ah, some of the black's peeping up. But it wasn't really what I was looking for, if you've seen my black one. But I'm really not sure if I add the black on top, if it'll just kind of mess up this under one. So let me just clean my hands off and torch it and see how the cells come up. The mink pearl and the chocolate brown and then there is some black coming up in it and it's just light light which is nice because I know those black strands end up being quite a bit on my other one. always like the shimmery goodness that metallic spring and I am liking my darker green peeping up maybe this isn't so bad it's not what I wanted I mean I didn't want to be pouring off all that paint I think I like it. Just let it sit a minute. Make sure I got all my corners. So like I said, tomorrow is April Fool's Day, and I may actually get some fishing time in tomorrow because I am off work. So that would be cool. I haven't fished in a long time, and I love to fish. A friend of mine went out to check out Stevens Creek Dam today and said it was really nice. My poor little oops always gets it. But, you know, when you gotta be close to keep the focus, you're gonna get painted on. <laughs> yeah, let's see, you know? I expected the darker rings that is underneath <laughs> the painting, but I like the look of this. Um, I'm going to bring it up close so you can see the mink pearl and the chocolate brown. And I don't know. I, don't know if there's, I didn't use a lot of black because on the other one it was kind of heavy. But I really like the cells, the way they play together. And yeah, it's green, but you all know how I feel about green. I love it! Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to keep it like this. I like it. I will try for less of the... Um, Chrome light in the dark next time. And I'm just starting it because the geode was just one color, different shades of one color. 
I want to experiment with this trio of the metallics at the end. So I think I'm going to leave it. Oops. I'll bring you up for a close-up. Hopefully you can see some of that shimmer. And the black peeping up. I don't expect more of that to come up. But we'll see how much more cells I get. But I do like the look of the cells. And especially the look of my darker green ones. Those are real nice. So yeah. This is my green geode inspired, although it was a blue one. Inspired geode in the greens, I guess. Can you maybe put it in the green series, huh? I really like that look. Alright. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you'd like to be notified of my next video, if you click the bell next to the subscribe button, it'll send you a little notification. Give me a thumbs up, up a like, share it, leave a comment, especially if you've never left a comment before. I would love to say hello to you. I really enjoy um, getting to know everyone through the comments. And, um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video. And I'm out. Bye.